Good morning, Facebook and YouTube family. This is Ron Stanley coming at you with a little bit of morning inspiration. It's a calm, peaceful morning. Um, didn't get too much sleep last night, but I got up, read my word, did my affirmations, um, little routine process that I'm trying to start up, and I feel good. I feel at peace today. So I just wanted to spend a, share a little bit of my peace with you guys, you know, because I don't know what sort of morning or what sort of day you had yesterday, but I was in the Word this morning. I was in John chapter 5, and I read eight verses, and uh, in these eight verses, Jesus asked a guy that was in a really tough situation a question, and I thought it was a crazy question, um, but when I really started thinking about the question that he asked, um, it spoke to me, and um, it spoke to me because I understood why he asked the question. It made sense, but it wasn't obvious when he asked it. So I'm going to go ahead and share the passage with you guys. So it is John. I'm in the Gospel of John, chapter 5. And I'm reading from verses 1 through 8. And uh, the subject of this chapter is a man healed at the pool of Bethsaida. So verse 1 says, After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool which is called in Hebrew Bethsaida, having five porches. So there was this pool that had five porches. In these lay a great multitude of sick people. So I want you to imagine a pool and there's a great multitude of sick people. So a bunch of sick people, different diseases, just surrounding a pool. These people were blind, blind people around the pool, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. So they believed that an angel would come down at a certain time and the angel would stir up the, stir up the water in the pool. And whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he has. So I want you to imagine a, a, a big pool with five porches, a bunch of sick people laying around the, around the pool waiting for an angel to come down and whoever jumped into the water first was made whole of their disease so i mean you talk about bum rushing water you know these people were waiting for their moment in order to jump into the pool and i could just imagine people just being you know um just thronged you know people just being stepped over in order for that one person to get an opportunity to jump in the water and to get whole right now, a certain man was there who had an infirmity for 38 years. There was a guy there who had been sick for 38 years. Bible doesn't say how old he was, but I mean, this is an old disease. This guy, this is, the, this is a career of sickness. 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been in that condition for a long time, he said to him, here's the question that kind of boggled me. Do you want to be made well? Do you want to be made well? I think the King James translation says, do you want to be made whole? In other, in other words, do you want to get healthy? I think in this situation, this guy couldn't walk. He was lame, paralyzed, bound to a wheelchair, bound to being able. He had to be carried. He couldn't take himself. Here's Jesus is asking this guy, do you want to be able to get around yourself? Do you want to be able to take your own shower? Do you want to be able to move around yourself? Do you want to have mo mobility? Crazy question, right? Do you want to be made well? Of course I want to be made well. Of course I want to be made whole. I don't want to be sick for 38 years. I don't want to just be sitting here sick for the rest of my life. I don't want to be mad at God. So Jesus asked this guy, do you want to be made well? And I thought to myself, why would you ask this guy this question? It's almost an insult. It's almost like walking up to a blind person. Do you want to be blind? Walking up to a person that has cancer. Do you want to have cancer? Walking up to a person who has a terminal disease on their deathbed. Do you, do you want to be in this condition? Of course not. Everybody wants to be healthy. Everybody wants to be sick. Everybody wants to be able to move around and enjoy life. But Jesus asked this guy, do you want to be made well? And I thought to myself, okay. All right, Jesus, what are you really asking this guy? Here's what I got. Jesus was asking this guy, do you want to change? Do you want to change? Do you really want to change? 
Or are you happy where you are? Are you comfortable? Do you know that you can be sick and comfortable? That you can be sick and comfortable. That you can have more and you could, you, you could have the ability to have more, a fuller life, a more abundant life, a more happier life, but choose the status quo. Because the status quo doesn't require any change. Jesus asks God, do you want to be made well? Because here's what Jesus was thinking. If I really give you what you want, it's going to require change. In this situation, this guy couldn't walk. If I give you the ability to walk and get out of that wheelchair and get off of that mat that you lay on for 12, 15, 20 hours a day, that means you're going to have to get a job. That means you're no longer going to be able to have excuses. That means you're no longer going to be able to qualify for handouts. People give handouts to people who are in need. But when you're no longer in need, that means you got to go work. You got to clock in and clock out like the work, like the rest of us. So Jesus asks God, do you want to be made well? So here's, here's what I got for me personally. And I think you can probably get something out of this. You have to ask yourself periodically, if you really, really want to be made well, if you really, really want what you're asking God for, because some people ask for it, but they don't realize what they're asking for. What you're asking for is change. If you're really made whole, if God really does what he wants to do in your life, it's going to require change and change is uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable. There's no growth in comfort and there's no comfort in growth. There's no growth in comfort. So if you're comfortable, most likely you're not growing. Hmm. So Jesus asks his God, do you want to be made whole? So Jesus knew that he really wanted to be made whole. And here's the type of God that, that we serve, right? So verse seven, the Bible says, the sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the water. And when the water is stirred up, but while I'm coming, another steps down before me. He gave an excuse. If he really wanted to get in that bad enough, he would have stepped over 12, 15 people to get in that water. He would have strategically planned to jump in that water, but he had an excuse. So Jesus said, you know what? I'm going to eliminate your excuses. Jesus said in verse 8, Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And the Bible says, immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. So Jesus changed that man's situation. And here's, here's, I guess, here's my message to you. Periodically, you have to ask yourself, do I really, really want what I'm asking God for? Because if I really have it, that means I got to take up my bed. That means I got to relocate. That means I got to change my mental zip code, right? That means new responsibilities, new opportunities. That means it's going to require change in my life. And until you ask yourself that question and you're really being able to answer it, you will continue sick, continue being sick, continue sitting at the pool, continue blaming other people for the situation that you're in. And I want to remind you that whoever you blame, you empower. So whoever you're blaming, whether it's your situation, whether it's your upbringing, whether it's your family, whether it's your genetics, whether it's your environment, whatever you blame, you empower. It's not until you take 100 percent responsibility for your own life that you can change. You know, so Jesus said, do you want to be made well? So I'm asking you that question. Do you really want to be made well? Do you really want to be made well? Because if God gives you everything that you're asking for, it's going to require you to be uncomfortable and things are going to change because it's going to eliminate excuses that you might have been able, that might have kept you comfortable where you are. You know, but God loves us. He loves you just where you are. If you don't want to change, he's not going to love you any less. That's the beautiful thing about our God. He loves you unconditionally. That means comfortable or uncomfortable, sick or healthy. He loves you all the same. You know, but period periodically, you got to ask yourself, do I want to be made whole? Hmm. And when you really decide that you really do want to be made whole, you'll get your miracle. You'll get your change. You'll meet the person. The door will open. Opportunities will come your way. Because now you're going to attract that change. Mentally, you've shifted your mind. So just a few thoughts today I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you got something out of that. Um, 
leave a comment or like the video just to let me know to keep on doing these. So God bless. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.